Yeah. Okay, and uh, you are? We're in Corsia. Oh, okay, married. Yeah. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Honeymoon? Yes. yes. Ah. <laughs> now I really feel guilty. Yeah, I have bored you with World War II history. Yeah. I feel horrible. No, I actually like World War II. Okay, yeah. all right, good. Then I'll, I, keep, uh, I'll keep boring you. I lived in Belgium for oh, did about you? six months and played baseball. They have baseball, oh, professional oh, baseball. Oh, oh. There. There's a lot of World War II history there. Yeah. And did you, did you play yeah. baseball there? Yeah. Uh, prof professional baseball? in yeah, professional baseball through Europe. So I played no out there. kidding. Wow, that's really that's really terrific. I hope I'm getting all this. <laughs> so I, it, it's really fascinating. What uh, what happened eight years ago when you were on a tour here? I was on a, a great tour, walking tour, private tour. This guy, he just knew everything about everything, and we did a walking tour for three hours. And he, I remember going into this area where he was talking about this monument, and uh, it had been stolen. And I remember e from Ethiopia. I can't remember. What like or yeah. take a look today hopefully no it's not there back. anymore it's not there oh, it's this is the point been? of the film okay. it's oh, been it's restored already? to Ethiopia oh, okay. I that's you were part trying. no 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 that's so part they yeah restore? they restore well what they did was we we had been pressuring them I, I had been working on it since 96 but Ethiopians and Italians here have been pressuring them since World War two since it was stolen and what happened was in around uh, the year 0102 the Italian government decided, no, we want it to stay here. Uh, it's been naturalized. We're just reneging on all the promises, including a UN treaty that they signed. Then what happened was, we couldn't believe this, lightning struck the top of it and broke, and broke a piece off. And we're sitting there saying, well, <laughs> got a little help from above. And uh, then they had no choice because their argument had been, oh, it's better here because in Ethiopia it'll deteriorate, we'll maintain it, blah, blah, blah. Right. And we don't want to give it back anyway. Then lightning struck, and they had no choice. So it, uh, quickly went the process. Oh, we didn't say that. And within about a year, it was packed up, and it was actually the largest object ever flown by man uh, in, in an airplane. Probably shuttles, space shuttles are different. But uh, in, a, in an airplane, it was a Russian Antonov. And they brought it back, and UNESCO, uh, the UN group, just restored it, put it back in its original... Uh, How did they get it there originally? Well, yeah, by boat. He had, it had been in three pieces on the ground in Ethiopia. And by the way, if you ever get a chance to travel to Ethiopia, do it. Yes. It's gorgeous, gorgeous place. Okay. Uh, but this uh, particular one had been on the ground. Uh, Mussolini put it on trucks, brought it to a, uh, uh, a ship on the coast of the Red Sea, brought it through the Suez and up to Napoli, and then by land here to Rome, right? right to there, to that spot a few feet away from us. And um, what, what had happened now, because that port is now another nation in Africa, they separated. They couldn't get the friendly uh, you know, relationship to bring it through the port anymore. So it had to be, in fact, the special tarmac was built just to bring this back to Axum. And uh, you've probably followed, this is kind of pop culture, you've probably followed Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah. Well, the Ethi Ethiopians claim that the Lost Ark is actually in that city. How much, you know, scholars believe that, you know, varies quite. You know, one, one simple question is, okay, can we see it? Oh no, if you see it, you'll be cursed for life. So we don't allow anyone to see it. See you it, see it? Right? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, look, I appreciate your time. And uh, hopefully well, you do some reading on it. Oh, yeah. You know, look, I look wonder if the tours will still talk about I'm, where I it hope was so. and that it's now been. Yeah. In so fact, you know, one thing that kind of irked me beforehand was, that if they gave the tour and didn't mention that it was stolen, that would have bothered me, but I wasn't there to hear every tour and whatnot. Uh, my, my grandfather was in Ethiopia with Mussolini. Both my parents are Italian, and he was there. So I have a kind of a perspective that's, I want this kind of reconciliation to go on. I want this kind of, you know, symbol, if you will. I think it's good for the world. I, I think so Keep, too. Keeping the peace, right? Yeah, you know, you have to do it in very, very tangible ways. You can't just say, okay, we're sending in an army, therefore there'll be no more war, you know, and right. that kind of thing. You have to do really yeah. person to person kind of yeah, things going on. As uh, far yeah, as you can go with it, and then you might have to bring in the army. It won't, <laughs> exactly right. You know, sometimes, you know, sometimes you can't argue. Sometimes they don't budge. Sometimes they don't budge. And yeah. I, I think we're definitely. Well, it's kind of like with the statue. I mean, they wouldn't budge for a while, so who knows what steps you would have taken at that lightning. No, position. yeah, we wouldn't have. It was it was completely a nonviolent oh, movement. Right, yeah, yeah. Of course. yeah, and in fact, you know, one of the some of my colleagues were pretty much pledged to Gandhi and nonviolence, Mahatma Gandhi and Dr. King's nonviolence, and that kind of thing. But um, 
Uh, what I'd like is your email so I can send you a copy of this and, you know, 